Hey y'all, what's up? How are you today? It's Alex here, and today I would like to introduce you to Capcom Belt Action Collection, or in US, they call it as Capcom Beat em Up Collection. Pretty much the same, it's from Capcom, of course, and it actually contains not one, but seven beat em up games, which, is, uh, which all of them are from the 90s arcade game. So basically, what you see in this game are all arcade version of the game. Now I'm gonna show you a bit, so this is like the introduction video, so before I start with the gameplay, so I'm gonna play some of them, not all of them, uh, I'm just gonna play uh, some games that I love, uh, some games that I love from the 90s, some of games, some of these I have played before on the older generation uh, console, but some of them I have not played at all, such as Battle Circuit, but for now, let us take a look at the gallery first, and let me introduce you to these wonderful 7 games. So we have Final Fight, King of Dragons, Captain Commando, Knights of the Realm, Warriors of Fate, or the this is the US version in the Japanese version. Uh, the Japanese version is called Tenchi wo Tenchi wo Kurau the second. I prefer the Japanese version, of course. Let's get to that later on. Then we have Armored Warriors. I think I'm not gonna play this one because although this is beat em up but it's more like a robotic beat em up i'm not really fond with huge robot fighting in a beat em up and unless if the pilot is playable but i have googled it and it's not playable it's only robots and i'm gonna skip the one pro probably and this one i have not played this one yet and it looks amazing i played a bit and i found it like some of the characters are unique two of them are not so and you know, not not so much because you know you get to play some characters that are not human which is not things that I love the most. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to discuss this again later on. So I'm going to uh, discuss it one by one. So what are the games I'm going to be playing and the, the, you know, the gameplay itself, the system I'm going to be playing. So first of all, all of these uh, seven games, I'm probably going to play five or six games like Final Fight, Link, Kings of Dragon, Captain Commando. I'm not quite sure about this one because this is quite... Oh, okay. This one, yeah, definitely. Maybe not this one probably because I... I google it and it says like 16, 16 stages, I don't know, depends. Maybe I will play it, maybe I don't, I don't know. And this one I'm gonna play definitely but the Japanese version because I appreciate the original Japanese version and not this one and this one, so probably 6. Okay, so, so now before I show you everything, uh, some disclaimer, I am one of those uh, gamer who really appreciate the original version from the you know the Japan version because I uh, actually uh, respect the storyline the narrative and most of all is the names so I prefer the Japanese name such as the Street Fighter uh, the devil is Goki and then the dictator is Vega you know and then the claw is Balrog and the boxer is M. Bison meanwhile in the US you know most of you probably know the dictator is M. Bison uh, the claw as Vega, the, the bouncer as Balrog, and the demon as Akuma. So I have no problem with these names nowadays, but you know, in order to me to have consistency I mean, and have respect to the, uh, the the Japanese creator, so most of these gameplay, well, not, not most of them, of course, or maybe like uh, probably this one Captain Commando and Warriors of Fate. Except for these two, I'm gonna be using the Japanese version, although probably I don't understand most of the storyline, but they have authentic name, names that are originally created by the original creator, the Japanese creator. So for example, Captain Commando, these characters' names are different in the US version. Not so much with the story though, so I'm gonna play the Japanese version just because the name revert back to the original Japanese version. That's it. Meanwhile, for Warriors of Fate, although the US uh, translated or localization version sounds interesting, it's like a, more like a narrative that, that evolves in a new Asian fantastic uh, region, but because originally Tenshi Okurao II uh, was how does inspired, this is like a manga, this is inspired by Red Cliff or Samcock or the Three Kingdoms saga, so you know it's like a double translation it's kind of weird so i'm gonna keep with the original name although the names are not pretty much the same we go to that later on so for the others final fight king of dragons um knights of the round and bell circuit i'm going to be using the us version because the name are not changed except for bell circuit 
the the female one yellow beast it's re renamed yellow iris doesn't matter because they use still the word yellow so okay so let's go one by one a bit so in final fight you get to play as this is the cover you get to play as three characters uh which has as you can see on the left side we have hagar this guy and then we have cody um where is it these are the enemies by the way uh, we have cody and also guy so pretty much all of these three characters Okay, so nothing changed much, I suppose. I remember a few years ago when I played this one, the US version changed a lot, like uh, one of the um, supposedly transgender characters changed into man, and then a guy's, uh, uh, one of the characters' names, supposedly Sodom, came Katana, I don't know why. <laughs> Actually, we know why, but it doesn't really matter now. It revert back in this uh, new version for this game, so yay. Congratulations Capcom Japan or Capcom USA for you know appreciating this one okay that's for final fight I'm gonna play each or one of these characters one by one so if I die game over continue I will change to another characters depends so they are Cody a uh, guy the Cody is the, blue, the, the guy with the, the with the jeans the guy is the ninja guy with the sneaker and then Hagar is the wrestler with the green pant okay so all of, we will play all of these three and then for Kings of Dragon, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to play this or not because this is quite long. However, if I do play it, I will probably not play them all. There are five of them. I try a bit. I'm not really fond with the dwarf. Um, maybe I will play uh, just the four, like in the middle one, the fighter, the live one, the cleric, and then the wizard, and then the elf. You know, all of these because of the dwarf. You know, I'm not. Being, being prejudiced with a dwarf, no, of course not, but you know, I find it more interesting to have these four characters focus on. So, I hope you don't mind for a gameplay if I to switch back to other characters, I'm going to use these four characters only for my gameplay series for this the King of Dragons. Now, for information, I just mentioned names are Fighter, Cleric, Wizard, uh, Dwarf, and Elf. But actually, in the Japanese version, now this is interesting, only in the Japanese version, in the booklet, it is it, they, each of them has name. I don't know why the game only put the the class, which is also fine, no problem. But for the sake again, for the creators, I appreciate those who wrote the story, who make the name. So I will, on the gameplay video later on, if I made this one, I will put their names respectively. Of course, each one of them. Let me show you. These are the enemies, and I'm gonna show you the names. And it's only as you can see. See, this is the Japanese booklet, and as you can see, the fighter is called Derek. Uh, how to make it bigger? Wait, let's see. Oops, sorry. Ah, this one. See, the 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 fighter name is Derek. I love the name. I don't know why they didn't use it. And then the cleric name is Aldo, and the wizard name is Legger. So I don't know. The name is kind of cool. I don't know why they don't they don't they don't use it. And then Elf Ravel. See, it's really nice. I don't know why they don't use this name for a new one. And then Vargas is the dwarf. So again, this one is only in Japan. I don't know why it's gone in the US. Anyway, I'm just going to play the US version, of course, but to appreciate the name, the creator of this game, I'm going to put the name as well. Hope you don't mind, you know, to know uh, sometime I will mention the name. And then Captain Commando. Now, most of the US uh, uh, players will know these game, uh, these characters as uh, Captain, Mummy, uh, sorry, left, from left to right, Baby, Captain, Mummy, and Ninja Commando. But in the uh, and uh, if you play it, you're gonna see the names the Captain, and then Mac the knife, Mac, M A C K, and then Ginzu or Gin Ginzu or Ginza, I don't remember Ginzu, I think, and then Baby, you know, Baby Head. It's not really creative. I like the name Ginzu though, but no, I again, the Japanese version has totally different name except for Captain. So I'm gonna show you a bit. These are just some images, awesome images from the 90s. These are the bosses and enemies. I love the bosses. Oh yeah, the boss's name, um, I think it's a genocide, but they change it. In the US version, they change it to, get this, scumocide. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. It's, prefer, it, you know, it's much more catchy to be genocide. I don't know why the U Capcom USA decided to change the name. It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, this is the name. Let me show you a bit the difference. I prefer the Japanese name all the way, of course, except for Ginzu or Ginza. Wait, uh, where are you, names? So again, it's really important for me to um, show you this and tell you about the names and stuff because for me, names are really crucial. Characters are crucial in fighting game, in fighting games, sorry, in all games, fighting games, beat up games. Ah, see, 
Uh, Mac the Knife is, uh, I can read this one. This one is called Genity. G E N, maybe double N. G E N N E T Y. Genity. Comes from Genetic, probably. And then Captain Commando still say the same. Captain Commando still the same. And then Ginzu the Ninja, it becomes Sho. Uh, Sho. S S H O. Uh, I believe it actually comes from a name from a famous actor who also played Ninja back then when. Captain Commander was out. And last but not least, Baby Head. I don't like the name Baby Head. This is one of the reasons I changed it. His name is Hoover. H W uh, H O O V E R. So much more clear, right? Genity, Captain, Show, and Hoover. Much more authentic for me. So that's why I'm gonna play the Japanese version. And either way, I don't have no problem with this one because it has less narrative. I think I believe they have no um, no introduction, but they have ending, but the ending is quite understandable. You know, it doesn't change much, only like saying salutation and congratulation, that's it. So, and I prefer the Japanese version of the name, oh, uh, Japanese name version of the boss. So, yeah, pretty much that's it for Captain Commando. I'm gonna play this one for sure. Uh, I play by, by the way this, this one and this one as well. This is one of my favorite as well. Of course, by the name, it comes from directly from the Knights of the Round, you know, Arthur and Excalibur. But this time you get to only play um, as... Oh wait, we almost forgot. For Captain Command, I will play all of these four, including the baby. It's quite cute. I will play the baby. And then for Knights of Round, only three, so I'm gonna play all of them, all of three of them. So yeah, Arthur. Now for your information, this game is quite unique. I think uh, from all of these games included in the Capcom action belt, belt action collection, this is the only game that has changes in the design. So each time the characters evolve, the level if um, do you call it upgraded, uh, the, the characters, each of them, will have different design. So it's quite interesting, especially in the 90s. This is really, really interesting. So we have Arthur, uh, the previous one, the basic one, and the advanced one. And we have Lancelot, you know, same one. The left one is the basic one, and the right one is the uh, advanced. And the last one is Percival. And for some reason, the Japanese developer mentioned Percival as not P E R C E C I V A L A V A L, but P E R C E V A L. So the left side is the base one, the right side is the more advanced one, which I found it much more cooler. Okay, these are the characters. No name changes, I've seen it, uh, no changes at all with the boss name, with the name with, uh, for the characters, so I'm gonna be playing the US version for this one. Arthur, Rensselaer, Percival. Cool, nice. See? Percival. I don't know why, but the, the booklet say Percival with I, but in the game with E. No problem, no biggie. So yeah, up until now, I will play... This one, the English version, no problem. This one, no problem. US version, same one. This one, definitely Japanese version. This one, the US version. Meanwhile, this one, is this, this is a definitely 100, 1000% the Japanese version. So as you can see, the left side, so the downs, uh, the lower side, for the fate, this, this is the localization, the Capcom American version of it. And it changed the storyline from the Three Kingdoms into somewhat like a fictionous Asian region type of fantasy, which also interesting. I've seen some of you know the this the plot. It has much more depth, in I say, but it's quite different. But I know it's not really creative because they just changed the name, changed the uh, storyline, you know. But don't change the design much. So I preferred again the original creator. And because this is based from manga, I will definitely use the manga version. Now, maybe in the 90s it was quite normal, but nowadays in the 2020s, can you imagine if you watch Naruto, you know, and you and you see the localization of Naruto, and Naruto become what Douglas Mack or you know Steven or uh, uh, Michael? It's kind of weird, right? And then uh, maybe um, Haruka, Sakura, whatever the name, the name, Japanese name, you change it into Amanda or Pamela. This is you know, it's kind of weird. So let's stick with the original one. Now, by the way, speaking of original one, the Japanese version is adapting the Three Kingdom. So the manga adapting the, the, the storyline, but have different names. So um, the game shows not the Mandarin names, but the anime or manga name. So for example, on the left side, Guan Yu, probably you know Guan Yu, very famous, become Kan Wu. So the writing there is called Kan Wu. Meanwhile, for this one, what is his name? Abaka. Abaka is uh, actually, uh, I think it's Wei, Wei Yan, Wei Yan, if I'm mistaken, Wei Yan. 
and become uh, Gi and Gi N. So it's the name is really different. And then the the old grandpa, the the bow, it's Kadan. So the ka Kadan, uh, the Mandarin name is actually Huang Huang Chong. Huang Chong in this game is called Ko Chu. Ko Chu. <laughs> You know, this is the uh, the manga name, so no problem with that one. And then uh, this guy, one of my favorite, Chao Yun. So, so Chao Yun is um, so basically Chao Yun. I think maybe is one of the main characters, <laughs> probably besides Guan Yu and that uh, guy on the left, uh, on the right side. So uh, the manga name for this one is um, what is it? I forgot Chao Yun. Chao Yun. Chao Yun. Oh, I sorry if I misspelled. Sorry about that. And the last one, so oh yeah, by the way, uh, Zhao Yun or Cho Un, almost the same. The, the version in the US is Subutai. Nice name though, I like the name as well. And then Kasar. Kasar, this one is, um, we call it Kasar, but the original one is uh, Chang Fei. So Chang Fei is Cho He. So pretty much that's the history of the name. I hope you don't mind, I hope you're not really confused about this one. So because this is just the game, it's just uh, adaptation, so I definitely agree with the unique name like Kan U, Cho U, Cho 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 Yi, Cho Wun. No problem, because this is a manga, no problem. Adaptation. Definitely though, the Japanese version. Although for this one, I will not understand the story at all, sort of in a way. But if you read or seen some movies about Red Cliff, I think you get the, the you know catch on with the the storyline it is because it's pretty much the same i think if i remember clearly okay so again yeah, and the last one this one uh, so now this is the last one i'm not going to play this one because uh, as you can see let me show you the characters are robot although it is controlled by these awesome design pilot but they are not appearing at all as playable characters uh, only they are only appearing in form of robots so i'm gonna skip for this game sorry guys no offense and the last one is battle circuit now I'm going to be using the US version because the name mostly do not change at all, only for the girl. So this one have blue. So they have they have the original name, but they use the code name uh, of the colors for the name for the character's name. So they're blue. Uh, this guy in the middle is it silver or red? I think it's silver. And then this alien here, this Venus ply thing, which I don't like at all. I don't know why it's here, but okay, no problem. It's unique, it's catchy. It's green, alien green. And then this one, this, this girl here is yellow beast, the Japanese version. But the US version is yellow Irish. Sorry, not Irish, yellow iris. So yellow iris, not, not, not Irish. So I prefer the name yellow iris, actually. Yellow beast is a bit too, I don't know how to say it, rough, but because the name in here is originally put yellow, so no problem. I'm just gonna stick with yellow, yellow beast for now. And then this, don't be misled by the, the the image. The character is not the girl, but the pink ostrich. And the name is Pinky or Pinky or Pink Ostrich. So yeah. So you, in this game, you get to play as three humanoid creature and two unique creature, which are a Venus fly, a walking Venus fly, and an ostrich. That can fly. So, because I'm playing only human characters for this game, if I die, game over, continue, I'm going to play only as these three. The blue one, the silver one, and the yellow one. That's it. Sorry, uh, plant and also bird. No offense. I'm just going to play as human beings. <laughs> okay, these are the enemies. Uh, this one I have not played yet. And it, it, it was out only in the arcade. I think it was in only in the arcade probably and it's only in Japan so I'm really excited really pumped okay so pretty much these are the games that I'm gonna play are you ready I am so anyway yeah, see anyway I think that's it for now for the introduction get ready because starting maybe tomorrow maybe tonight I don't know I'm gonna have a series of gameplay from all of these amazing old-time retro beat-em-up games well six of them or five of them probably so I think that'll be all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in, get ready for some awesome Bell Action Collection Pack beat-em-up game. See you and bye-bye!